Hello, people. All right. If you watched my last video, you could kind of hear how loud the uh, the plumbing was. And I had these two Durso drains. So these it's hooked up to a pipe. Hooks in the back overflow. Water flows into here into the sump. Very very noisy. And then you know you have this white thing sticking up out of the water, but. It lets air in, and um, yeah, very noisy. It, it sounded like my living room was raining, and uh, not good. So I started looking in ways to change things. So I went with the Herbie method. So what that entitles is, so instead of having these two Durso drains that drain into the sump, you remove these, and the one on the left this is roughly about even with the bottom of the weirs here, I guess. That's what they're called. That's the overflow. And what I did, I got a pipe, I hooked a coupling to it, and then hooked this top piece. Just so I could kind of pull it out and change the top piece, the, uh, the height, if I needed to. And, of course, I don't, but oh well. Um, this originally was a little bit shorter and there was kind of a little bit of a waterfall going on sort of because this is the emergency overflow the other one it's basically just a pipe probably about eight inches down cut off I'd like to put a strainer on there but they're kind of hard to find in this size so maybe I could I don't know maybe put a reducer or something put a different strainer so that one it's a full siphon so it doesn't suck air in and how did I soft plumb this in I went here, went straight down here. I bought a 90 degree fitting with two push on barbs, cemented the barbs in, clamped that in, put this inline ball valve in. A gate valve would work a little bit better because you can fine tune it, but this worked just nicely. Um, and why, why do you need that to adjust it? So, okay, I'm sorry. This one here, that's the emergency or the overflow. So the water gets too high and water will just slightly leak down there. This one, you have the ball valve so you can tune it a little bit. If I open this up all the way, water would drain from the top faster and the water level would drop down here a little bit, maybe a couple inches, creating a little bit of a waterfall, maybe increasing noise. So I can close it a little bit to raise the water level here, and I did just enough so water's almost going down here. Um, actually, it was probably maybe an half an inch lower just a little bit ago, but the filter sock that I have, if the filter socks, I don't know why I'm looking down there, if the filter socks get a little bit clogged, you know, and you should really replace them every couple days, but or rinse them out, whatever, but um, if they start getting debris in it, the water level here will rise just a little bit. But you know, it doesn't. You have this emergency drain; things will flow down there. Um, so you can fine tune that a little bit just to kind of change the water height here. Uh, if the filter sock starts getting clogged, this will rise just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's all I did with soft soft tubing here. Very easy to do. Extremely quiet. It's silent. Like you really don't hear the water going in. Every once in a while you'll hear, you know, maybe water just kind of going down there just a little bit, but it's it's not obnoxious. So yeah, that's my update. And it works well. It's quiet and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.